Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So uh, we are continuing our discussion on the quad scheduling, right? So we have made a couple of videos how to create a squad scheduler and how to get a job detail trigger and con scheduler. All those things we have discussed. That's good. Now we will we'll explore a few methods in the scheduler. Okay, there is something very interesting actually like pause and pause all okay so pause means when a job is running uh when let's say like five jobs are running so when i am doing a pause all all the jobs should be paused when i'm given something as a job name as an input only that specific job should pass and other should continue in a similar way let's do something like resume and resume job okay so resume jobs as well so like uh, whatever the paused jobs are there they should automatically start based on the job key if not all the jobs okay cool now you observe one more thing resume jobs is there resume trigger is there and similarly if you go here pause pause job is there pass trigger is there so basically what is mean by this pass job and pass trigger what is the difference basically okay so the difference is like this i have a job this particular job can be triggered for the multiple times like i want this job to run once a week i want this job to run you know two times a week i want this job to run once in a every hour so these three instances have a different scheduling parameters so these are for a given job there could be multiple triggers here and i can i can pause the trigger as well okay that is what trigger will do when the job can have multiple triggers when i am passing the job means i'm passing all the triggers of the job automatically okay so we'll focus we'll focus on this passing and passing by the job name in this tutorial also resume and resume all as well okay so uh, let's go to the scheduler here and let's create some reusable methods okay something like public uh, void pass all okay pass all will have what it is scheduler dot uh, pass all yeah then this should be in try catch where is that yeah this should be in try catch what is a scheduler here is a reference of the main scheduler that we have discussed okay and uh, in a similarly what we need to have is resume all as well so public wide resume all should be in a similar lines like scheduler dot uh, resume all so this is going to resume all the past jobs okay uh, cool then how i can uh, how i can pass a specific job okay based on the job name i have and the uh, group name okay so void pass specific job as let's say like string string you know uh, group name and the uh, string job name okay so here before getting into this implementation let's go to the scheduler one more time here i have what i have i have the pause job this is good but how i can build this job key i can build this job key based on the name and the group name okay in my case i am using all the jobs with a common group name called group one if you are not using the group name then that is also well and good you can directly pass a name here okay so uh, based on the name you need to build a job key the job key is being sent to the pass job method right so here i have this so what i need to do i need to build the job key object okay job key is equal to new job key of of what new job key job key of uh, job name then 
pass your group name okay these two parameters i have passed now i have the job key now simply use that to pass the job here as a job key okay so i am pausing this job with the help of the job key try catch and the same applies to resume job as well the same concept okay so i'll copy this and paste it here okay job uh, pause specific job na? now resume specific job here job key here uh, instead of pause job key what i can do is resume job based on the job key okay so now i have the job key as well now these are my reusable methods what pause all resume all pause a specific job based on the job name and group name also a resume a specific job based on the job name and group name now let's build a controllers around this okay so let's go here i have to build four controllers right get mapping get mapping something like pass all pass all okay so public void pass all here i have written the code here in the main scheduler which is a service which i need to auto wire here uh, into my controller which i already having it okay so i'll just use pause all right so main scheduler dot pause all okay this is going to pause all the jobs and similarly i can do it for uh, resume all as well so i am simply copy pasting that and i am changing the method names right so simply use resume all okay now i am good at it now there were two more jobs that is nothing but uh, what i have the uh, what i have i have the group name and job name i need to resume a specific job and pass a specific job right so this group name and job name i can get it from my controller my endpoint as a path variable right yeah so simply simply uh, create one more uh, thing here let me keep this and copy paste it here pause pause here i will add a one endpoint for group name group name and another end another sorry, one path variable as a group name then another path variable as a job name okay now here pass what i can pass pass job okay as two things one is path variable as group name string group name then another path variable as what job name this i can keep it as let me put this here okay as string job name okay now i have these two i can simply call schedule okay scheduler dot pause specific job based on and group name and job name right so i have the group name object and i have the job name object as well okay now this should pause my specific job in a similar lines we can copy paste it to the resume specific job as well so resume resume here and copy that here resume job with group name and job name here instead of specific job name i'm going to use resume specific job name so i am done with my implementation i have constructed four variable four endpoints here okay first one is a pass all where it is going to pass the all the jobs and similarly i have constructed a resume all and uh, uh, pass a specific job 
with the help of two pathway variables I am passing and a resuming a specific job with the help of two path variables. Right. Cool. Nice. Now let's go to the application and run. Before running, I want to show that there is a one job which is going to run 200 times and also there is another job which is going to run 200 times when I press this uh, endpoint called schedule endpoint. Okay, so cool. And also what is a job name here? One more thing I just wanted to show before running here. I have this uh, job name, right? How do I get the job name? Here I'm passing, right? First name the job. This is my job name and the group name is nothing but in the job details I'm passing group one. Okay, so that is my group name. Cool. Now let's run our application. Okay. And once it started running, automatically one job will run because of the post construct. And I'm going to hit one more job uh, from the end point as well. Okay, so those two will run. Then we will uh, start using pause all, resume all to see whether those jobs are getting paused and resumed on the whole. Okay, so now you could see it is slowly starting the application, which is good, right? Now let's go to our postman and let's start our schedule. Okay, I'm ready with this. Now you could see first job is picked up. Now I start the second job. Also, now you could see second job is also picked up. Parallelly two jobs are running. Cool. Okay, now let's go here and uh, do something like pause all jobs. Uh, what is the end point here? Okay. The end point is pause all, right? So keep it here. Click on send. So now if you go here, all the jobs are paused. All the jobs are paused. They have stopped over here. Now, if I do resume all, all the jobs should be resumed on their own. That also we'll see now. Resume all. Click on send. Now go here run. Now you could see both the jobs are uh, you know, running on their own. Now let me pass a specific job. Okay. So for that, let me do something like this specific job is the group name is GRP1 and the first job is my job name. If I click on send, my first job will be paused and the second job is getting executed continuously. Let me pause the second job as well. Second job. Okay. Now the second job is also been halted. Okay. It's also been in the waiting mode. Cool. Now let me resume my second job. Okay. With the help of the resume endpoint. Where is that? That is here. Resume endpoint here. Right. So I'm resuming this second job. So second job should start. Now you could see second job is being uh, starting, right? Similarly, let me resume my first job as well. First job as well. I'm resuming here. Okay. So my first job is also resume and both of them are scheduling now on each other, right? So that's all about this tutorial guys. I hope this tutorial is informative for you guys. If you found it useful, please do like share and sub sub subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. It's me.